Hello Scorpio. Welcome to your February 2018 general reading. Keep in mind it is a general reading please and if it doesn't resonate with you check your moon and rising signs. That's a pretty good idea anyway because it'll give you a good overall a rounded view of the month. Okay. Now I am doing something a little bit different this time. I spread the cards out like I did last month but I'm going to draw the nine cards out and put them out in my nine card spread. But I've got a lot of you that want me shuffling on camera so I guess it's legit. But the way I get my cards when I shuffle takes too long. I don't have that kind of time and I don't think you do either. So I decided, yeah that card must have come out too, I decided to do it this way so that you can see that I'm not faking the cards. I have shuffled this deck and therefore the card on the bottom of the deck will be your overall energy or part of it and we have the four of pentacles. Okay so now I want to lay out your cards. Seven of pentacles, queen of cups, two of wands, king of swords, Center card is your ma your major overall energy card, and you've got judgment. That's a great card to have as your overall energy. It really is. This card here plays a part in your overall energy, but it's not as big as this one is, okay? Eight of Cups, the Chariot, Ace of Pentacles, and the Ace of Wands. I just want to take a minute and, and get a, an overview of your cards. Okay. Okay, so I like to read across, down, and diagonally because that gives us a broader view of the month. It, it gives us more information and a, a, it just gives us more to look at. So starting with your first row we've got the seven of pentacles. Pentacles is all about the tangible in life, the things that we can purchase with our money, okay? Because pentacles, it's, it's all about um, financial for the most part. It can mean other things, but it's mostly about financial. This one in particular, seven of pentacles, it's all about you've done the work, and there's nothing more you can do but sit back and wait. Now that card for me is divine timing. I always look at that card as divine timing. It's all about divine timing. You've done what you can up to this point and now you have to just kind of take a back seat and wait and see what comes back to you. You've put it out and now you wait for it to come back. Your next card Queen of Cups. This could be an actual person in your life or coming into your life or someone that was was in your life. This is Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. It can also be an energy that you're carrying right now or that you should be or that you will be. Cups is all about emotion, feelings, and the signs associated with the cups. They are very uh, emotional. They have no problem showing their feelings, telling you their feelings. They are very uh, wear their heart on their sleeves kind of people. They're also very passionate and very romantic and very kind and giving and um, loving. Okay, supportive. Your next card is the Two of Wands. Now this card, a lot of people have been getting this card. For me, this card, in this deck anyways, if you notice, he's kind of looking out the corner of his eye at what's in the cave. He's keeping an eye on it. He's um, looking unsure 
if it's even safe to stand there with his back to it. He's unsettled. And for me, that card is all about you drawing out of you, going within to draw out what it is that's deep down inside you, what it is that you want in life, where you want to be, what you want to be, where you want to go. So the top row is all about you taking a step back. You've, you've reached a point now where you need to take a step back and take a look at what it is you want. Now for those of you that have this person in your life, this could be a king or a queen, okay? Whatever, whatever works, if it's, you know, sounds like your story, then whatever works for you, the male or the female version. Um, this could be someone that will help you to draw out that information that's within you. For those of you that this isn't a person, this is about you getting to a place of love, getting to a place of bliss, the, the higher vibrating emotions, rather than being down at the bottom in anger or hatred or fear, okay? This is about being in a loving, receptive mode. So your next row, you've got the King of Swords. This guy could be a guy, could be a girl, could be a king or a queen. Swords are Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. If it's an energy, it's all about the truth. It's all about standing in your truth. It's all about... Um, Swords are not great at showing emotion, however. So, could be that you are too emotional and, and maybe need to get a little bit of a uh, control over the emotion. And um, just harmonize within. Get the harmony going within. Your next card and the overall energy is judgment. This is karma, okay? So for me, this card in this deck is all about things coming back to you. Possibly a second chance with something or someone. Second chance with the truth. Your next card beside it is the Eight of Cups. Now that's all about letting go. Walking away from something and letting go. Now this card here, this is your, your, it's a small part of your overall energy, but it is a part of it. And the Four of Pentacles is all about, see him hanging on tightly to his Four of Pentacles? He's not letting those go for nothing. He's, he's afraid that if he, you know, that's all there is. This little guy looks like he's trying to make more pentacles, but all we've got so far is four. And I need more. I can't get rid of these. I can't give these away. I can't use these until I know I've got more coming in. So this is, you know, it's, it's like the person that is getting down to their last dollar and not spending it because it's my last dollar. What if another one doesn't come in? But with that way of thinking, you're telling the universe that you have a lack and you won't have money coming in if you're not spending it. And I know, please don't comment and say, well, if I have no money, how can I spend money? Find a nickel, find a quarter, you know, go out and buy five cents worth of candy. I don't care what you do. You have to keep, you don't have to, you can do what you want, but we need to keep the momentum going. You can't stop putting something forward and expect it to come back. This is the motion, okay? So it's putting it out. It's coming back. You're putting it out. It's coming back. If you put it out and it's like, okay, now I'm broke. I'm not going to continue putting out. Well, the wheel stops or the motion stops there. Nothing comes back. Find things that you can, you know, if you have to, go through your house. You need to purge anyways if you want to climb, if you want your, your vibrational frequency to climb. You need to have the things around you that you absolutely love. You need to be light. 
You can't have a lot of clutter and a lot of weight if you're climbing. So find things that you don't love so much anymore or that just aren't, you're not using. Sell them. Use that money to buy something that you do love. Replace it. Because the more you feel love, the more you, you keep this motion going, the more things come back to you. But you do need to let go. You've got that twice here. You need to let go. Okay. So, bottom row, we have the chariot. Chariot, again, it's all about opposing forces. It's two opposing forces. If you look at these horses, they each want to go in the opposite direction to each other. They're both different colors. One's white, one's black. They're, they're the opposite in color. They're going in the opposite direction. He is trying to bring these two opposing energies together to create the harmony. And that's, that's kind of a, a, a theme here for you. Going within to find, to find, you know, your two opposing um, energies could be thought and, and um, movement. You know, what you're thinking, what you're doing. Bring them together. It could be your emotions. You need to find harmony within. That's part of what this is about. And letting go and walking away from things that are no longer serving a purpose. Letting go. It's part of your overall energy. Because the universe has something to bring back around to you. You know, it's that, what I said, it's that motion. Put it out, it comes back. So the universe, you've done your work. We know that from this card here. The universe is trying to bring something to you. The next card, Ace of Pentacles. This is all about brand new beginnings. Aces are gifts from the universe. You have a lot of things coming to you from the universe if you can let go of the things you no longer require, the things that are no longer serving you a purpose. Get rid of them. Universe has new things coming into you, bigger, better, brighter, happier things, more enjoyable things. The Ace of Wands is your outcome card. Now, I don't read these cards past, present, future, but the first card is the first card. It's the starter card. So for me, that's either where you are, where you need to be, or where you're going to be, where you're about to be. This card, the final card, is your outcome card, okay? Because it is the last card. Ace of Wands is a pretty good card to have at the end, right next to the Ace of Pentacles, because aces, again, are gifts. You have all these gifts coming to you. This is a gift of a new beginning with something you're passionate about. It could be a relationship, it could be a business, a job, a career. This could be finances coming your way. It's all brand new beginnings. You have all these new beginnings. So reading down now, we have the Seven of Pentacles, King of Swords, and the Chariot. Again, you've done the work. You need to just take a step back. You've put it out there. Let it come back. And it's, it's your truth. It's, it's either, this is either a person. For those of you that this is an actual person, this is someone that's going to come in. It's uh, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. This is someone that will come in to help you, and king or queen, and they'll help you harmonize. They'll help you gain control of these opposing things, feelings, thoughts, whatever it is within you, okay? And that's going to carry you into all this newness that's coming your way. Going down this way, Queen of Cups, Judgment, and Ace of Pentacles. Again, Queen of Cups could be a, a person, male or female. It's Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. So this could be your energy in the reading, Scorpio. This could be very well be you. Um, judgment is all about universe bringing something back around. Now this could be something that was brought to you previously and you didn't take it or you didn't see it, you didn't move in that direction. The universe is giving you another shot at it. It is something that you need to take. It is something that you need to do, a direction you need to go in. The universe is giving you a second shot at it. And it's going to bring you the finances that you want. OK, 
okay? This could be a new, a new career, a new business, a new way of making a living. This row, Two of Wands, Eight of Cups, and Ace of Wands. The Two of Wands, again, is about you going within, drawing out that, that, that's what he's trying to do. He's trying to draw that out of the cave, that, I forget what they're called, that half man, half animal creature. He's trying to draw that out of the cave, okay? And so that's you drawing things out of, of the inside of you. And you need to walk away from something that you're carrying inside. Something that you've got deep down inside, you no longer need. It's something from the past. It's something that's holding you back, and you need to walk away. Let go and walk away. Because if you do, you've got this brand new, passionate beginning coming your way. This is your outcome card. So now diagonally, we have Seven of Pentacles, Judgment, and Ace of Wands. You've done the work. You're sitting back. You're waiting for the universe to bring back around what it is you require so you can get this new beginning, this new passionate beginning. Going this way, we have the Two of Wands, Judgment, and the Chariot. This is you drawing out that which is deep down inside you, letting go of it. So the universe can bring you what you have coming back to you, what's meant for you, so that you can get yourself balanced, get yourself, you know, work through these opposing feelings or thoughts and bring yourself back into balance and into harmony so again you can have this new passionate beginning. I want to get some advice from Spirit for you for the month of February. So advice for Scorpio for the month of February Spirit, please. What can they do to move in the direction they need to move in? to reach this outcome of theirs. So this is how I normally shuffle the cards when I lay out a spread. And this is why I don't do it in front of the camera, because it can take forever to get nine cards out. I wait until a card drops out of my hand. That's how I know it's for sure a card I'm supposed to have. And see how long it's taken just for one card so far here? My videos would be twice the length they are, and I don't think you're interested in that. And I know I'm not. One card, angels. What does Scorpio need to know about moving forward toward their outcome for February 2018? How can they grow? How can they raise their frequency or their vibration? What's the best for them to do? Or what is it they need to know? Okay, well look at that. You got two cards. First one, cleanse and detoxify. This is a big one. If you want to raise your vibration, it's like I said earlier, it's about purging. You, you can't be heavy. You can't be weighted down and climb high. You can't, you know what I mean? You can't go up if you're weighted down. So this is not only about physical purging um, the things around you. It's about cleansing and, and detoxifying you. It's your surroundings and you. And it says... With great love and respect, we ask you to detoxify your precious and sensitive body. At your request, we'll help you to develop life-affirming ways to deal with stress, as well as ease any sorrow at shedding your old ways. Walking away, letting go, and your truth, the opposing, the opposing thoughts or feelings. You have to shed those so you can be clear. Have clarity, okay? Give your cares, worries, and concerns to us and feel the beautiful grace of your newly purified body. The other one you got was ground yourself. When you detach from awareness of your body and the physical world, you become ungrounded. Although it's pleasant to float heavenward, your attention and work are needed upon the earth. We're helping you balance the spiritual and material 
so that you can enjoy a fulfilling earthly life. These are the two opposing things in your life, spiritual and material. You need to balance the spiritual and the material in your life so you can have the new passionate beginning. I love what I do because seriously, I couldn't have I couldn't have planned it any better myself. Find ways to ground yourself, okay? One of the things you can do is have a hot bath and this will help you detox too and cleanse. Have a hot bath, throw a whole bunch like two cups of Epsom salts into your tub, let it dissolve. Throw a cup of sea salt in as well because that will help you draw any toxins out of your body. It will help you to relax. It also helps to ground you. Another way to ground yourself is to go for walks in nature. Get out there. Walk your dog. Walk by yourself. Listen to calming music while you're out there. Listen to calming, calming music inside. If it's summertime and you can, Take your shoes off. Be barefoot in the grass. Barefoot on the ground. Hug a tree if you have to. The earth puts out positive, positive energy. In it. It's absorbed into your body. I believe what the earth actually puts out that we absorb is negative ions. And it counters all the, the bad that, that we absorb in our bodies throughout the day in you know, being fully clothed and, and rubber-soled shoes so we can't, we can't ground to the earth. It's very important to be grounded. Very, very important and very healthy for us to do so. Um, the other thing you can do is, now this isn't as good as being out in nature or having your feet, your bare feet on the ground, but if it's winter and it's cold and you can't go barefoot, then find small stones and put them in your pocket. Have a couple of small stones in your pocket. It's anything of the earth that you, if you put it on you, I believe black tourmaline. You get a bracelet in, that's made of black tourmaline or a necklace and it will help to ground you. It is very important to be grounded. It's going to ease your mind as well. You'll find that it's very relaxing to be grounded. It's very, um, people tend to be very anxiety ridden if they're not grounded. This was an amazing reading, Scorpio. Amazing. You have great things coming your way. All you have to do is, is cleanse, detoxify, ground yourself, harmonize. And you'll have everything you want. It's all at your fingertips. Thank you again for viewing, liking, sharing, and subscribing, Scorpio. We'll see you next month.